Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm not here with Geeky Sparkles. I think this video would bore her anyway. We're going to talk about Vice Media. We're going to talk about Vice Media and the implosion of digital media. Vice Media, its Hail Mary Pass was its studio business. They were going to make TV shows and podcasts and streaming shows and all of that. And now they're going to sell it. Just a couple of months ago, they were betting heavy on streaming. They were going to make content for like Netflix and Hulu and whoever would buy their shit. But now it's all going to shit. It's all turning to shit. We're seeing that Netflix is down. Uh, I think Disney Plus for sure is going to be down. Not that they would have wanted Vice content anyway, but you know what I'm saying. The money is not there. The money is running out and Vice is living on borrowed time. Uh, we're going to talk about that because last year, this is how Vice, Vox, and BuzzFeed were going to save themselves. They were going to make shows for streaming. Uh, we had BuzzFeed, BuzzFeed uh, going public and failing spectacularly. These digital media outlets were going to go public and shake down investors for more money. Of course, BuzzFeed has been a catastrophe. I mean, to put it mildly, they thought they had like $200 million committed to them going public and they wound up with like 15 million or something like that. And everyone is talking about what a freaking failure Buzzfeed has been. Yeah, it looks like Vice is gonna burn with them. So let's, let's talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants, guys. Uh, over 266,000 subs. Thank you so much for the support. We do talk about digital media, um, you know, as it relates to pop culture. And Vice was uh, one of those media outlets that had a huge investment from Disney. Disney lost a bunch of money, $400 million to be exact. Disney lost $400 million on Vice, and they said the investment is worthless. And now uh, Vice was going to make more streaming shows, probably not for Disney, and that's, that's worthless now too. So this is coming from the information, uh, which I think is a very reliable source for tech news and media news. Uh, they are the ones who first broke the story about Crunchyroll getting sold, and everybody said, no, that's a lie. That's not actually, that's not going to happen. Crunchyroll's doing great, guys. Everything's good. Vice Media, exploring sale of studio business. Uh, Vice is exploring the possible sale of its studio business looking to take advantage of rising valuations for production companies in recent months. A lot of people have been selling their uh, their companies off. Um, the media firm is working with investment bank PJT and Lion Tree to explore the sale of the studio. Again, remember, this was supposed to be their Hail Mary pass. This is what was going to save Vice. They were going to make all kinds of streaming shows all kinds of streaming shows, guys, and that was going to save them. And I think uh, BuzzFeed failing on the stock market definitely, you know, has them panicked. And and looking at Netflix and how Netflix is failing now too. It's like if Netflix is failing, what chance do you have, Vice? Vice has struggled for several years to turn profitable, and it faces pressure from investors. This is everything, guys. Where did these media outlets come from? venture capital. They're all banked by venture capital. Um, and they, they basically, a lot of these news outlets are like, how the hell do they stay in business? Well, the reality is, is that they naturally, through natural selection, right, through the market correcting, they would not stay in business. Uh, news outlets like BuzzFeed and Vox and Vice and Gawker and Gizmodo and all these outlets, they have been propped up by venture capital for years, and the venture capital started running out uh, two or three years ago. Now they've been scrambling, trying to repackage themselves, refocus themselves, because usually when you get investors, you have like five to eight years to turn profitable, or you get shut down. And, and some of these websites that started around the same time, like Mike, was worth like $5 million <laughs> at the end of it. And I don't even know what happened to it, but we saw, you know, Gizmodo, they, they couldn't even find a buyer for it. It took them a while to finally, you know, pawn it off onto Geo Media, and they're, they're cutting over there too. So they owe $1.1 billion in debt. The move follows several deals done for production companies, including Reese Witherspoon's production firm, Hello Sunshine, um, as the expansion of the streaming market has driven demand for content. But again, the Netflix stock bottoming out like it did, that's that's going to put a dent 
in all this. People aren't aren't going to be buying media companies like they were. And they're going to look at BuzzFeed and they're going to be like, what the hell? Yeah, this is a great deal. Yeah, let's give them a couple billion dollars. Let's give them a couple billion dollars. So Vice also owns their website. They own uh, Pulse Films and um, a, an ad agency, I guess, and a cable channel called, called Viceland. So Vice was one of a generation of media startups born a decade or so ago that raised money at high valuations in which in the past couple of years have consolidated into a handful with their survivors primarily being BuzzFeed and Vox. Both of them are in trouble. Vice at one point was the most highly valued of the group, reaching peak valuation of $5.7 billion in 2017, although now it would likely be worth much less than half of that. Investors include Disney and James Murdoch, and Disney got freaking burnt on Vice. And investors are going to look at this, and they're going to be like, you're not worth it, Vice. You're, you're just not worth it. You're not worth it. And they're going to look at BuzzFeed stock, and they're going to be like, yeah, BuzzFeed failed. BuzzFeed had the, the best chance of making bank on the stock market, and they failed. Uh, under CEO Nancy Dubuck, TV veteran, uh, brought in four years ago to turn things around, Vice has cut costs, helping reduce losses. Last year, the company tried to go public via a merger with a SPAC, but the SPAC market cooled before Vice was able to complete the deal, and it had to abandon the effort. Basically, BuzzFeed failed. And it's going to be a domino effect and they're all going to collapse. All of these websites are going to collapse. All these websites that have spent years spinning stories and attacking fans and attacking one side of the aisle and, and being completely biased. They're all crumbling. They're all failing because they were never real. They were propped up with venture capital. They weren't really advertiser supported. There might be ads on those websites, but again, as a guy who runs multiple websites in different verticals, I can tell you the ad revenue, the banner ad revenue is not what it once was. Um, and a lot of these companies, I think they probably do some shady, shady things to artificially inflate you know, the ad revenue. And even if they're making money, they're spending so much in promoting the website and in, in paying their employees. I mean, some of the salaries at these digital media outlets are absolutely insane and they're not really bringing anything to the table. I mean, look what happened with Netflix. You know, they started laying people off. The first people they laid off were bloggers because they really don't need them, right? <laughs> I mean, they really don't. Dubuck has focused on expanding the company's studio business hoping to meet increasing demand for shows from streaming services. Well, good luck with that because everybody's laying off now. The studio business now generates about $250 million a year in revenue. If it fetched five times revenue in a sale, Vice would get enough money to pay off its debt. Uh, they also expanded Vice by acquiring Refinery29 for $400 million in 2019. The acquisition gave Vice more scale in the ad market. Again, they're all consolidating. All these... These garbage tier websites were all separate companies and they've, it's become like Highlander. They're all consolidating. The pandemic hit and within a few months, uh, it started hurting Vice's ad business and forcing uh, Dubek to institute layoffs. They were probably hurting before that. I think the venture capital ran out. The market for production companies has heated up. The Blackstone backed Candle Media. Blackstone backed Candle Media acquired Hello Sunshine at $900 million, which was Reese Witherspoon's blog, like a freaking mommy blog, and they paid that much money for it. They bought Moonbug Entertainment for $3 billion. Moonbug is Coco Melon. Coco Melon was the most popular kids animation channel on YouTube, so it's probably worth $3 billion. I know they they sell a shit ton of Coco Melon merch at Walmart. Um, they bought a minority stake in Will Smith's production firm. I'm sure that's worth a lot now. <laughs> Other deals followed. They bought uh, Kevin Hart's media company, $100 million. The market may cool off now that streaming services are becoming more careful about spending as subscriber growth slows. Meanwhile, the ad market has cooled in the wake of rising interest rates, inflation, and the Ukraine war. I think Vice is fucked. I'm going to be honest. I think what's going to happen is like Vice, Vox, and BuzzFeed and Geo Media are all going to have to, you know, merge together to survive. I, I think it's going to be Highlander. I think we might have one or two of these sites survive. 
at the end of the day, but you know, they're all disappearing because it was never real. It was never real. It was all propped up with venture capital and uh, they were spending ridiculous, ridiculous amounts of money to boost their posts on Facebook, hoping that someday, someday they'd turn a profit and uh, that day never came. It's an unsustainable business model. You can't pay for a ridiculous space in New York or San Francisco and pay your, your quote unquote journalists over $100,000 a year to crank out, you know, low effort hit pieces on people. They were hoping, I think, that they were going to drown out uh, traditional media, that they were going to discredit their adversaries and and uh, that things would be fine if they could just get rid of the competition. And that never happened because, again, the audience was a phantom audience. They were never really there. You know, BuzzFeed readers aren't loyal BuzzFeed readers. They click on BuzzFeed because they see it pop up in their Facebook you know, timeline or, or, or something, or they were watching what Try Guys and all these other shows that I think they, they left BuzzFeed's YouTube channel and they went someplace else. And uh, there, there's nothing of value here, you know, because the end game was always get big and cash out. That was the end goal for Vice, get big and cash out. And uh, even if they get big, there's no cash. There's no pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. So I think they're probably going to get sold for a fraction of what they're looking for and just become another brand under some corporate something or other, or they'll just go out of business. You know, who, who the hell knows? I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Now he's just tasty, delicious, rotten flesh meat, which I can consume. Don't read into it too much. Just like our museum, the cafe, it's open to brute through it, eager to serve. I don't think this was in the show. Run, 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 run. Oh, you got splatted. No. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh she was begging and what? you kicked her in the face. I don't care. Hey guys, Squid King here. And today we're in a- Not girl boss, not girl boss at all. She is not a material girl. She is not. Oh, it's Christmas time here in your mom. Nobody wants to join your mom. What? Like I can't even cook kid cuisine right. I would last about two minutes with Gordon Ramsay. What? Where is he? He's hiding. He's hiding from you. He better. Oh my God, you got the ax. Walker, does this look like Steven Universe? Let me punch him. Well, I'm just here for the wax. Okay. Ah! Right where you belong. Get in the dirt. Well, that was a combination of events I probably shouldn't have put together. Anyways, let's open this bottle too. Chica Pinata. Is that official? Oh, no. There's a bootleg. Hello. Hey guys, it's Diamond Tool. Let's make a farm. Like and subscribe and buy my merch. I mean, while you're here, you guys should like really like and subscribe and buy our merch, all of which we have. <laughs> that is true. You can't run them carrying trash. And you can get away with one F-bomb per PG-13 movie. Oh, I wish I'd yeah. known that sooner. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna wrap this effort up. Yes. <laughs>